Assalamu alaikum. Children, I hope you're all well. We are going to be reading a story together. And its name is Ronald the Rhino. See, can you all see where the rhino is? Hmm, and the rhino is laughing. This is Ronald the Rhino. Ronald the Rhino is so big and strong. Can you all show me how big you are? Can you all stand up for me and show me how big you've become? I haven't seen you for such a long time. Let me see how big you are. Hmm. And can everybody show me how strong they are? Can you show me your muscles? Can you show me your biceps? Hmm. And see, this is Ronald the Rhino. Look at him. He is so big and very strong. In the Javan forest is where he belongs. Hmm. So where does he live? He is a he is a Javan rhino. So he lives in the Javan forest. Do you know where Javan forests are? Javan forests are in Asia. In the continent of Asia. Remember our continents? So, Javan Forest is in Asia, and that's where he lives. His dusky gray skin is very well worn. So, what's the color of the rhino? This rhino. You know, rhinos are come in different colors. They can be black. They can be white. But what is the color of this Javan rhino? Of Ronald the rhino? Hmm. He has dusky gray skin. And look at his skin. It has folds on it. At the front of his head is a beautiful horn. Wow, can you see this? At the top of his nose, there is a big horn. And it's really pointy and sharp. Do you know what he does with it? Yes, if somebody comes to attack him, he attacks back with his horn. Hmm. Oh no, look at what, what happened to Rhino, uh, Ronald the Rhino. Can you see the, the tears that are coming down from his eyes? Oh no, he seems to be very sad. And do you see these bubbles? Do you see them going up? What do you see? Oh my, what is he thinking in his mind? He's thinking about other animals. Who can he be thinking about? Are those, no. who are they? Are those his friends? Are you all missing your friends these days because you're all at home and you can't go to school? Mm, I'm missing my friends too. And so is Ronald the Rhino. Let's hear out his story why he's missing his friends. He eats fallen fruits from the damp forest floor. Mm, see, have you ever gone out? I would like you all to go out tomorrow morning. Out when the sun hasn't come out. And I want you to go and feel the grass with your hands. Do you feel it? When you're going to feel it, you, you'll know that the, the earth down there is damp. Damp. Do you know uh, if you pick up a cloth and you make it wet and you squeeze it, so it remains damp. Damp. Damp means wet. So he eats fallen fruit from the damp forest floor. So does he eat, do you think that the rhino eats the fruits from up in the trees? Or does he eat them when they've fallen down to the ground and then picks them up and eats them? Mmm, you're very, very clever. Yes. He, he, see, he's not very tall, is he? He's big and strong, but he's not very tall. So his, his mouth cannot reach up to the fruits in the trees. Like the giraffe, the giraffe can reach up because he has a, he's very, very tall. But the rhino is not that tall, so he cannot reach up to the fruits in the, in the trees. So he has to eat the ones which have fallen down. But Ronald is sad. He longs for much more. He's eating his fruit. Do you enjoy when you eat your fruit? Fruits are very nice and sweet, aren't they? But he's not enjoying it very much. He is sad. He longs for much more. Why am I special? He says with a tear, oh my, <gasps> Ronald the Rhino thinks that he's not special. Oh no, 
I live by myself. I have no friends here. Oh no, he is lonely. See, he doesn't have his friends there, so he's so sad. All of the animals have a grand trait, something unique that makes them just great. <gasps> oh my, he's thinking that all the animals around him, they all have something special about them. But Ronald the Rhino, he thinks that I'm not special at all. Oh no. And then suddenly he gets an idea and he says, oh, I've got it. He cries with a smile on his face. He's not sad anymore. Now he's happy. He's got an idea. And what is the idea? He wiggles and jiggles all over the place. Now, can you all show me how you wiggle and jiggle? Can you show me how Ronald the Rhino was happening and wiggling and jiggling around? Can you wiggle and jiggle around in, the, in your house? Good. Very good. Okay, so he wiggles and jiggles all over the place. And then, oh, what's, what's happening in this picture? Can you see this? What's going on? A rhino has mud all over him. Oh, yes, this is mud all over him. But why? Let's read to find out. I'll be a leopard with beautiful spots. Oh, my goodness me. How funny. Rhino thinks that he is going to be, he thinks that I should be a leopard. My goodness, can a rhino become a leopard? No, no, no. I'll be a leopard with beautiful spots, all yellowish fur and dark brownish spots. Now, what does a tiger look like? Tiger is, has fur over it. See, if you do, anybody has a cat? If you don't have a real cat, do you, does anybody have a toy cat? Okay, let me let me think. If, even if you don't have a toy cat, do you have any any stuffed toy at home? Can you bring it for me? And can you feel it? Can you rub your hands over it? Does it feel furry to you? Yes, very good. So a leopard has furry, furry skin like a cat because it is a big cat, isn't it? And it has spots all over its body, right? And beautiful black spots. So a leopard has yellowish fur. It has yellow color with black spots on it. And it makes it look beautiful, brownish and blackish dark spots. Ronald sets off to hatch out his plan. And through the dense forest, his eyes start to scan. What is he looking for? What do you think he's looking for? He wants to look like a leopard. So he's thinking for an idea. How can a rhino look like a leopard? So he thinks and he thinks and finally he finds some mud all sticky and wet. Mm. You, you see when it rains and you go outside and there are puddles and the, and the earth over there, it dampens and dampens, meaning it becomes wet and wet and then it becomes sticky and wet, right? So like that. So Rhino found some sticky wet mud and what does he think? He says, great. Ronald says, I'll have my spots yet. He starts right away, painting on patches, using his horn to scoop mud up in batches. Hmm, that's rhyming, isn't it? Patches and batches. So he starts right away, painting on patches. So what did he do? He started to pick up the horn. He, he cannot pick it up with his hands. See, we have hands. Allah Ta'ala has given us hands and feet. But Rhino walks on all fours. So he doesn't have any set of hands. So Rhino has to use his horn for scooping out. Like, do, do, you, ha do you have a spoon? Can you all bring a spoon? And do you have, um, can, you, can you put it in the sugar pot and scoop out full spoon of sugar? See, that's what was he scooping out, Ronald the Rhino? Mmm, good. He was scooping out mud from the puddle. And he was throwing it all over his body to make patches. Looking like, because he wanted to look like a... Very good. He wanted to look like a leopard. So he was making spots on his body using mud. 
because he didn't have any paint, so he used mud as paint. Oh, what's happening in this picture? Do you see? Who's sleeping on a branch? It's a leopard because leopard is a big cat. It can climb up on the trees and it, can, it sleeps on branches. And Rhino is standing looking at the leopard. Let's see what he has to say to him. Let's read to find out. As soon as he's finished, he admires his work. He says, oh my, how beautiful I look. Look at all the, the muddy paint on my body. I must be looking so beautiful like a leopard. But is he really? But high in the trees, leopard does lurk. What are you doing? Leopard asks with a grin. He smiles at, at Ronald the rhino and says, what are you doing? You've mud and great patches all over your skin. <gasps> leopard says, oh, so leopard says to rhino, rhino, you're all dirty and muddy. You have patches of mud all over your body. Oh my. So, do you think that leopard is happy to see rhino all muddy and dirty? Mm, let's see. I want to be like you with spots on my face, to sleep in a tree, to run, leap and race. Mm, again, rhyming, rhyming. Face and race. <gasps> See, Rhino was telling the leopard that I want to be just like you. I want to have spots all over my face. I want to sleep in a tree. I want to run and leap and race fast like you do. See, leopards leap. They leap. Can you all leap for me? Do you know? Do you, can you all leap like a leopard for me, please? Good job. Very good. Leap and leopard can, if a leopard starts running, who do you think will win the race? Of course, leopards are so fast. You can't be a leopard. You're too big and gray. You're a javan rhino in every way. Again, rhyming, rhyming. Gray and way. Good job. So the leopard said, laughs and he says to Rhino, Rhino, you can't be a leopard. You're too big and gray. But he's not yellow like a leopard, is he? And he doesn't have really real spots on his body, did he? D does he? Allah Ta'ala didn't give him spots. He gave him a thick gray skin, like an armor. And he's a Javan Rhino. He was born a Javan Rhino. He cannot become Ronald looks sad, unsure what to do. He lets out a sigh. <sighs> He's feeling so blue. He's really sad. Why am I special, he says with a tear. I live by myself. I have no friends here. All of the animals have a grand trait. Leopard has spots that make him just great. He thinks that the leopard is so great. And he thinks that he is not at all, not even good. Hmm. <gasps> Suddenly he has another idea. And see, he's, do you see that he's jumping with happiness now when a bird is standing over him? <gasps> I've got it. He cries with a smile on his face. And he wiggles and jiggles all over the place. Can you wiggle? And can you wiggle your fingers for me? And can you j jiggle your body around in the room and show me? Good. <gasps> What's he doing in this picture? What do you see? Do you see Ronald the Rhino? Is he lying down on the ground? <gasps> Is he sleeping? Has he fallen down? What has happened? And do you see this snake on the right side? It's a snake. Let's read to find out what's going on in this picture. I'll be a python. My body's so strong. With smooth patterned skin. And it's tongue nice and long. Strong and long. Yes, they're rhyming, rhyming. What has he thought now? See, what a funny idea he's got in his head now this time. He thinks that this time he will be a python. P 
python is a type of a snake there are different types of snakes in the world you know and this particular type of a snake is called a python so he thinks that i'll be a python i'll my body so so strong and with see a, a python's body is really really strong and he has small he has smooth patterned skin on his on his um, you know he he has patterns on his skin and he thinks that and it has a long nice tongue see do you see this tongue that's coming out from his mouth the python's the mouth it's really long and it's it's thin long nice and he has a pattern on his body shall i show you a real python let me show you a picture of the python Ooh, this one looks really scary can you all see this see this is a python it has such look at his mouth it seems it has a very big mouth and it looks really strong it has strong jaws and can you see his skin clearly or shall i show you another picture Okay, let me show you another picture. Ooh, do you see these patterns on? Can you all see these patterns on the on the python's body? Can you see them clearly? Yes, can you see them now? Yes, these are the patterns on his body. This is a python. See how big and strong he is? He's really long. And what does Rhino do? Look at him. He starts right away and gets down on the ground. He's lying on the down on the ground pretending to be a... Yes, he's pretending to be a python. But can a rhino ever become a python? No, of course not. That's silly, but he thinks, he thinks that a python is really nice and strong, so I should become a python too. So he's pretending to be. And how is he pretending? He's lying down on the ground. And... He slides through the mud. How does a snake move? See, a, a snake slithers. It, it's like, see, can you see this? My hand over here. See, it's, it's like this. The snake moves like really, really slowly. And just its tummy is touching the ground. It cannot make it go up. See, it can't just stand. A, a, a snake doesn't stand. It moves on the ground like this. It slithers on the ground. So the rhino is touching its tummy on the ground, pretending that he's a python. And he slides through the mud with a terrible sound. Of course, he's so big. He's so huge. Rhinos are so big in size. They're bigger than us. And, and they're really, really, really big. So if he's moving on the ground, of course, it's making a terrible sound. It's making, making a, a scratchy sound on the ground when he's moving on it. But as Ronald moves, he lets out a wail. His body is sore and bent round like a snail. Wail and snail rhyming. Yes. See, so he's saying that as Ronald moves, he lets out a wail. A wail is like an excited sound. He's taking out a sound of excitement from his mouth and his body is sore. Why has it become sore? It's sore, meaning it's hurting because he's on the ground and he's scratching his body with the, with the ground. He's not used to doing that. Rhinos don't lie down on the ground. They walk. They put their feet, their big strong feet on the ground and then walk on it. They don't slither on the ground like a snake does. Allah Ta'ala has made the snake's body such that it can slither on the ground and not get hurt. But if, see... If you lie down on the on the on the floor without see he's not wearing any clothes. So if you put your body down on the on the ground outside in the in the garden and you start slithering on the ground, do you think it will scratch you or not? Yes, of course I think it will scratch you. Um, so his body is becoming sore and he's bent like a snail. Hmm. See, he's bent. He look at his hump. Do you see his hump of his body? It's looking as if it's the it's the back of a snail, right? The shell of a snail. Out in the bushes, now Python can see. See, he's looking, he's peeping. The Python is peeping from behind the bushes. He's hiding in the bushes. That's where he lives. See, he, he hides. The Python cannot, you cannot see snakes everywhere. They're hiding out in the bushes. What the young rhino is trying to be. Out in the bushes, now Python can see what the young rhino is trying to be <laughs> see and be look at this what do you see in the picture 
Mm, Python has come to Rhino. I think he's talking to him. Mm, what do you think? Let's read to find out. Why are you moving around like a snake? Your back is all bent. I saw your legs shake. Snake and shake. Again rhyming. So he's saying, the snake is saying to Rhino that why are you moving around like a snake? See, he guessed that, um, that uh, Rhino is pretending to be a snake. Your back is all bent. I saw your legs are shaking. Of course, his, uh, his legs are not used to bending like that. I want to be like you on the rough jungle ground, slowly and smoothly sliding around. <sighs> mm, Rhino said that to the snake. You, can, you can't be a python. Your skin is too rough. Your horn is too hard. And your feet are too tough, said the python to, to the rhino. And what happens? Is he right or is he not right? Yes, of course he's right. The rhino is a rhino. He's big and tough. He can't become a snake. Ronald sits down, his head hanging low. Can you see in the picture? His head is, is, is bent down. It's hanging low. Is it hanging low? It means, is he happy? No. Is he sad? Yes. Again, he's sad. What could he be? He just doesn't know. Oh, no. What do you think, the rhino? What do you think Ronald is? Yes, he's a rhino. But he thinks that he should be something different. And he's trying to be. Hmm, what do we see in this picture? Oh, see? Why is Rhino so happy in this picture? And the leopard and the snake, see? The leopard, um, the leopard is standing on the branch and the snake is wrapped around the branch. What are they talking about? Let's read to find out. Why am I special? He says with a tear. I live by myself. I have no friends here. All of the animals have a grand trait. They are special. Python slides smoothly, which makes him just great. Leopard and Python see Ronald so glum. So they cook up a plan to cheer up their chum. Hmm, they are thinking of an idea how they can cheer up Ronald the Rhino. We've got it. They say, looking down at his face, Ronald wiggles and jiggles all over the place. His skin is, what does the snake say? Let's see, what does the python say? The python said, his skin is tough and looks like great armor. Have you ever seen soldiers? In the olden days, the, the soldiers used to wear armor. I'll show you a picture of the armor. You see, the soldiers used to wear armor that was made of metal. So it used to protect them. It was really strong. See, this is an armor. Can you all see this picture? This is an armor. See, the, the soldiers used to wear this armor so that the enemies could not hurt them. See? This they used to wear. So uh, does, does the rhino's skin look like an armor to you? Yes, see, it is so gray and thick, just like as if he's wearing an armor on it. His eyes sparkle brightly. He's a real charmer. That's what Python thinks about Rhino. What do you think? Is he right? Yes, see, rhinos have really sparkly eyes. And they have an armor on them, a gray armor on them. And what does Leopard say? Leopard says, his legs are so strong and his horn is the best. The animals love him, as you may have guessed. <laughs> Do you also love Ronald the Rhino? Yes. I want to be like him, Ronald cries out, his eyes shining bright as his feet dance about. Can you show me how you can dance about? Can you show me how Rhino must have, Ronald the Rhino must have been jumping around dancing on his feet? Yes, good job. So into the forest, they set off to find this mystery animal that might change his mind.
See, his friends are saying, the python and the leopard have suggested to Ron the rhino that we are going to show you an animal who is so great that you would want to be just like him. So let's see. See, do you see in the first picture that Ronald the Rhino and Leopard and Python are going where? Where are they going towards? What do you see that blue line over there? Mm, yes, I think it's water. It's the river, I think. But let's read to find out. They come to a clearing. See, it's a clear area. Do you see? It's a clearing with few trees around. See, there are many, very less trees there with a beautiful stream. See, there is a stream. That, that water that I thought was a river is actually a stream. A stream is, is uh, rivers are really big. Streams are small. No one to be found. And the stream water is coming from where? Up from the, from, from underneath the ground. Leopard says with a, with a smile. Can you all smile for me, please? So that we can find out what leopard is about to say. Very good, big smiles on your faces. Smiles make a person's face glow. Leopard says with a smile, he lives just down there. See, he's telling him that he lives just down there. Across the wet ground, he approaches with care. There and care, rhyming again. So Ronald moves forward and goes to the stream. And when he looks down into the stream, what does he see? Ronald moves closer to look at this beautiful creature who lives over there. His heart all a flutter. It's really happy and he's looking forward to find out who lives there. His brow lined and his brow lined and creased like this. See, he has creases on his forehead. Why do you think he has creases on his on his on his forehead at that time? Because he's worried. He, he wants he wants to find out so he's he's looking forward to finding out who it is he's a little worried right he has a worried expression he has creases on his forehead he looks hard for a moment he looks he looks carefully he looks hard for a moment can you all look hard for me now like this good he looks hard for a moment just for a moment his eyes flashing fast he's he's trying to look carefully the water is silty with mud flowing fast it's silty and it's there's mud flowing in the water so it's not clear what it's muddy water and then what happens suddenly oh he's laughing and everybody's happy what what did what did he see inside what do you think he saw inside who do you think he saw in the water when he put his face in front of it who can guess who could he have seen in the water other than the fish, of course. There might be fish inside the water. But who do you think? Whose face did he see inside? Good, clever children. But let's read to find out if we are right or not. He stops. He stops as he sees it. And then gasps out loud. He gasps out loud. Can you all gasp out for me, please? Leopard and Python could cry. They're so proud. They could cry tears of joy, not tears of sadness, tears of joy, because they're so proud. He grins at the animal that he can see. Who do you think he can see in the water? By, jo by golly, it's amazing. It's wonderful. And who does he see? Me, he says. <laughs> who could he see in the water yes he could see himself in the water his reflection could be seen in the water <laughs> that's who he saw so do you think it was a funny story or not i think it was a very funny story the poor little rhino thought he wasn't special and he was trying to pretend to be everybody else other than himself but see the rhino is a rhino. Allah Ta'ala made the rhino a rhino. If a rhino would be a rhino, see, everybody liked him. Everybody loved him just the way he was. And he was perfect the way he was. See? See, Allah Ta'ala has made everybody perfect just the way they are. Everybody is special in their own unique way. So as for your homework for today, I want you all to think of something that Allah Ta'ala has created special in you 
what is different in you and that makes you so special than everybody else. And remember this, Allah Ta'ala has made everybody special. So there is something special about every single one of you. So think hard and I would love to see your videos telling me what you think is special about you. I hope you really enjoyed the video today, um, the, the story today. Have a very nice day and I miss you all very much. I love this.